Hi, I'm Congressman Patrick Murphy. We know that climate change is real and is happening at an alarming rate. Experts believe that greenhouse gas emissions will continue to grow and lead to further warming of the Earth's climate. Unfortunately, we are now witnessing the all too real effects of climate change, such as ice at the North and South Poles continuing to melt at an alarming rate that will contribute to sea level rises. Research also shows that extreme weather patterns will be a result of the Earth's temperature increasing. Sea level rise will result in truly devastating effects on coastal habitats, like the contamination of fresh water supplies and coastal erosion. My state of Florida is particularly vulnerable to rising sea levels. Even just several inches in rising sea levels would have extreme impacts to Florida due to its low elevation. This map provided by NASA shows how real this threat truly is. The view on the right side of the map where the elevation is 16 feet above sea level have been colored blue. And elevations below 33 feet have been colored lighter blue. Demonstrates how at risk Florida is to flooding related to storm surges. According to Dr. Fred Blotcher of Florida Atlantic University, sea level rise is a threat to nearly 6 million Floridians, their economy and lifestyle, $3.7 trillion in property in Southeast Florida alone, and a $260 billion annual economy. Climate change also contributes to severe weather events, like extreme precipitation and droughts, which are expected to become more frequent. Our coastal communities are especially vulnerable to extreme weather, which can have devastating impacts on infrastructure, cause severe flooding, and put at risk the lives of residents. Last year, my region suffered from record-setting rainfall that contributed to a serious crisis in our waterways, referred to as the Lost Summer because residents were not able to get in the water due to it being so toxic. A four-year-old girl named Celia from my district traveled all the way to Washington, D.C., bringing with her dead oyster shells she found in her backyard to show Congress the severity of the situation in the Treasure Coast. In our district, our safety, economy, and entire way of life is completely dependent on the weather. And with climate change contributing to the extreme weather we have witnessed in the past few years, we cannot afford the devastation another year of above average rainfall or a major storm would cause to the health of our waterways and coastal areas that are the heart of our economy and community. Now, more than ever, we must address climate change and its human causes before it's too late. This starts with standards for particle pollution, mercury pollution, and power plant emissions. Congress must come together and develop a comprehensive plan to reduce our reliance on dirty fuels by investing in clean energy technology and providing economic incentives for reducing carbon emissions. The challenges we face are real, but by working together, we can tackle them and protect our environment for generations to come. Thank you.